Mayor Jacob Fry says Minneapolis is accelerating the number of statewide COVID cases. We cannot wait until it is too late to act. And he says health department data shows people going to bars are contributing to the spread of the virus. As of last Monday, 367 positive cases from people who named a Minneapolis bar where they were exposed or exposed others. The data has become clear that in both urban and rural areas, bars are very high-risk locations for COVID-19 outbreaks. In Minneapolis alone, we know that at least nine bars that have been tied to patron outbreaks. At least three bars have been tied to employee outbreaks. So get ready for another shot of preventative measures. I am issuing emergency regulation closing indoor bar areas for regular service in the city of Minneapolis, effective 5 p.m. on August 1st. The closure also covers tap rooms, distilleries, nightclubs, and requires that restaurants with a bar area uh, that keep that bar closed to service for the duration of the emergency regulation. We've had to take our tables cut our capacity indoor to 50%, but still maintain the six foot distance. Tony Chesick is with the Minnesota Licensed Beverage Association. He says this is another hurdle for his industry. This would be another layer of compliance that um, some businesses uh, won't be ready for. Um, if in fact the mayor does push this through, I hope he gives our businesses ample time to comply with this. Um, we'll have to then become kind of masking police or social distancing police. But my, pushback on that is is that you can spend a couple hours in a bar you can also spend a couple hours in a home depot to broad brush the entire city with this i think is a bit disingenuous on the mayor's part uh, when some folks are complying the customers are complying because the customers have a role in this too it's not just the business community that has to comply it's the people coming into the bar restaurant that has to comply as well city leaders say closing indoor bar areas is an important step to help slow the spread by contrast Chessick says his industry has been targeted. He hopes owners don't tap out. We had to incur some costs to get some tents when we allowed to do outdoor seating for a while. So a lot of our folks, cities were gracious enough to partition off street space for our people. Um, and I thought that was gracious. However, this will then put another burden on a business that's doing it the right way to invest in tables and chairs and things that they haven't had more need for. But when you're still six feet apart, um, this, this for some businesses is not going to be uh, economically feasible. The new regulation allows bars to offer indoor seating with limits on four non-related people or six related people per table. They have to follow social distancing guidelines, of course. And while you can't hang out at the bar, you can still go to restaurants and order a drink at your table.